Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to use apple cider vinegar to control fungus gnats. Now the first line of defense really, and I'll link the video that shows you how to do this, is when you're starting seeds indoors, number one, don't bring any materials from outside inside because they often have insect eggs, diseases, and fungus in there. So you want to be careful. If you're using a starting mix, I recommend you use boiling water to kill out any fungus nets. And again, the video I hooked to this will explain why. But even when you do that, that's what I did. I ended up buying some succulents, some um, basically house plants from Home Depot, brought them into this room. They had fungus gnats. They've now transferred from the soil that I brought from Home Depot over to my seed starts. You don't have to get rid of fungus gnats 100%, but you want to control the population. And apple cider vinegar, you can just put into little dishes just like this. I'm going to show you how I set them up for maximum efficiency. And you can see floating on top are the flying fungus gnats. They'll come to the vinegar because of the scent, and then they land on the vinegar and they die. And you want to stop the life cycle of fungus gnats. Let me see if any will pop out of here when I do this. So they fly around, they fly to your new soil, land on the soil, lay eggs, the eggs then larvae then crawl into your root system, they eat your plant roots, they mature, they come back out, they fly around and the cycle starts over. So the apple cider vinegar controls the flying fungus nets. I can see a couple flying around there. So if you get a dish with not a lot of depth to it, I like to just drop it in onto a flat just like that and you can see the fungus nets that are already on there. You want it to be somewhere right in the seed starting area so as they're flying around, as they're crawling around they're going to land in there. Alright, so the other thing I like to do is if you don't have a dish with a narrow or with a shallow tray, just drop something in like that. And again, they're going to be flying around, they'll be right in this area, they'll smell the vinegar, they'll come down there and they'll settle on it. You can see one that just flew by there. And that will help control the population. Sometimes the goal is just to keep the fungus gnats at the lowest possible population. Your seeds will outgrow them, your root systems will outgrow the damage. But if you don't do anything, they will harm your plants. So you're going to use straight apple cider vinegar, just fill up to about this level. As it evaporates, it's going to concentrate. You can just add some more water in as it gets kind of thicker. But that's all you have to do. It will really reduce the adult flying population. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you some ideas of how to use apple cider vinegar. It does have to be apple cider vinegar, not white, not red. You want the sweetness of the apples. So it gives you some idea of how to use this and it will really help manage the problem. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at www.therusticgarden.com. Thanks for watching.